Ripple has been on the seesaw ride since 2021. It started the year at $0.22 cents and climbed to over $2 by mid-April, before selling at $0.62 cents on July 24. Despite the current bear market in the cryptocurrency market, XRP has gained over 180% this year. What was Jeremy Hogan talking about when he said he got a gift from the gods? What did Gary Jenser have to say? And how will this assist XRP in gaining a MASIVE rally? Stay tuned to learn more as we break down the entire case for you. Welcome to Millionaire Mindset if you find this information helpful. Make sure to subscribe to grow the channel. Let's get into the video. Gary Gensler, Chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission, spoke about security-based swaps before the American Bar Association Derivatives and Futures Law Committee. I'm not speaking on behalf of my other commissioners or the Securities and Exchange Commission staff. He began, as the SEC prepares to face ex-SEC Director William Hinman's deposition for a speech he gave in 2018 about Ether's nature is not a security. This statement is critical. The SEC chair spoke about security-based swaps in the aftermath of the Archie Ghost disaster and the SEC completion of derivatives monitoring in the United States 11 years after Dodd-Frank. At the conclusion of his speech, Mr. Gensler emphasized the convergence of security-based swaps and financial technology, including crypto assets. A number of sites are attempting to sell crypto tokens or other products that are priced off the value of stocks and behave like derivatives, the SEC chair said. Make no mistake about it, any virtual commodity that provides a synthetic exposure to underlying securities is the same as a stock token, a stable value token backed by stocks, or any other virtual commodity that provides a synthetic exposure to underlying securities. These platforms must comply with securities regulations whether they are decentralized or controlled finance platforms, and they must operate within our securities framework if these are security-based swaps. They will be subject to the extra requirements I mentioned earlier, such as transaction reporting rules. Any offer or sale to retail participants must then be registered and executed on a national securities exchange. According to the Securities Act of 1933, he made a point. The Securities and Exchange Commission has already filed complaints against retail security-based swaps offerings, and more blockchain firms are expected to be charged soon. Binance is one of the leading firms already selling asset tokenization products, having started with a tokenized form of Tesla shares, TSL, to allow non-U-based users to trade the instrument, and many more after that. According to Finance Feeds, Binance, like a growing number of other companies, may be attempting to get around regulatory frameworks in the United States and elsewhere, and may be um, them to the United States the a global crackdown on Binance is currently underway as retaliation. Ashish Perla, the general manager of RippleNet, announced earlier this month that the company's XRP ledger would be used to tokenize assets. Tokenization is revolutionizing how people acquire trade, track, and manage assets across the board, from art and real estate to intellectual property, equities, and supply chain commodities. According to the World Economic Forum, 10% of global GDP will be tokenized by 2020, the year 2027. We're evolving from a cross-border payments network to a platform that provides tokenized services, giving businesses crypto capabilities, and preparing them for a future where crypto is front and center. RippleNet was created to address the problems of cross-border payment speed, cost, and transparency for people who have been largely ignored by the banking system. Because of the region's advanced crypto regulation, Ripple's new product is likely to gain traction in Asia-Pacific. But there is no lack of clarity when it comes to blockchain-powered products that provide exposure to underlying stocks. They're subject to U.S. securities regulations. The SEC Chair, Harry Gensler, made it abundantly clear. In the United States, the lack of clarity in the crypto environment has been a major issue. SEC Commissioners Hester Pierce and Alad Roisman made public statements this week admitting that it was a gift from the heavens, according to attorney Jeremy Hogan, 
The admission of a lack of clarity from key SEC officials will be used by Ripple and the individual defendants to support their fourth affirmative defense and request to dismiss the case, respectively. Ripple has requested that the court consider SEC Commissioners Hester Pears and Alad Roisman's recent letter in support of the defendant's opposition to the SEC current attempt to invalidate Ripple's fair notice defense. To put it another way, Ripple is relying on the Commissioner's acknowledgement of a lack of clarity in the crypto field to support its fourth affirmative argument in the SEC v. Ripple Labs case. Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, two individual defendants, recently filed the same public declaration in support of their motion to dismiss the case. According to the new Ripple filing in support of the fair notice defense, Commissioners Pairs and Roisman have honestly indicated that there is a decided lack of clarity from market participants concerning the application of the securities laws to digital assets and their trading. Given the Commission's clear and fighting at the top, it will be interesting to see how the SEC responds to the defendant's papers regarding the Pairs and Roisman statement. According to James K. Filling, an XRP community attorney, the SEC needs to clean up its act. Ripple's lawyers will question ex-SEC Director William Hinman on July 27 in order to bolster the company's fair notice defense. The required response from SEC Chair Gary Gensler to Senator Elizabeth Warren is due the next day, July 28. According to her request, she wants to know about the SEC power to properly regulate cryptocurrency exchanges and assess whether Congress needs to act to ensure that the SEC as the requisite jurisdiction to remedy existing regulatory loopholes. That letter also sparked a flurry of debate about what could be interpreted as a well-coordinated power play to get around the CFTC. The price of XRP increased by 8% on July 21, crossing the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of the surge that began in December 2020 at 555 cents. Furthermore, on the weekly chart, the 22 July follow-through propelled Ripple above the 50-week SMA at 571 cents, paving the way for a bullish hammer candlestick. To confirm the low on July 20 at 516 cents and positive XRP price intentions, Ripple needs a daily closing above May's declining trend line at 620 cents and the significant resistance connected with the May 23 low of 652 cents. Assume that the cryptocurrency market as a whole is experiencing a rally. In that case, the 50-day SMA at 706 cents could be tested before hitting the formidable resistance of the converging 200-day SMA at 759 cents and the neckline of an inverted head and shoulders pattern at 773 cents. To avoid XRP price churn caused by multiple layers of resistance, it's best to buy Ripple on the dips down to the 78.6% retracement level at 555 cents, with a stop at the 512 cents low on June 22. If the execution was successful, the potential for a 38% gain from the retracement level would be revealed. The XRP price strength hasn't been a one-day phenomenon so far, but a daily close below the 512 cents low on June 22 increases Ripple's chances of challenging the 200-week SMA mean at 457 cents. Any additional flaws would aggravate the cryptocurrency's issues. For the first time in a few weeks, events this week have reignited interest in the cryptocurrency market, prompting market participants to launch a test purchase. For the time being, the weekly close is all that matters as it determines where the three crypto majors stand in relation to key moving averages, as well as support and resistance levels. Because of improving technicals, investors can expect bullish results for the rest of the summer. Many crypto experts believe that digital currencies will gain in popularity over the next few years, as a result, it appears that the emergence of tokens like Ripple is unavoidable. However, due to a legal snag, XRP is currently unable to begin a new bull leg. On a daily basis, the price of XRP fluctuates rapidly and widely. Furthermore, it would be impossible to predict the direction and magnitude of the next move. Ripple traders who are only trading for a short period of time should be cautious. If you have a 2-3 to three year time horizon, however, you might want to consider a position below 60 cents. If RippleNet expands its partnerships with major financial institutions and slash or resolves legal issues with the SEC, it will likely continue to provide value to XRP investors. A growing number of companies, including MasterCard, Microsoft, PayPal, Square, and Visa, are supporting cryptocurrencies. Tesla CEO Elon Musk made headlines earlier in 2021 when he expressed concern about the environment. Tesla, on the other hand, has stated that once mining is done with renewable energy sources, 
it will accept Bitcoin transactions. Ripple was created with the goal of allowing people to send money quickly and cheaply, particularly across borders. Long-term XRP USD supporters believe it will eventually replace SWIFT, the current international banking standard. A large number of financial institutions now use the Ripple network. The platform's network includes over 300 providers from 50 countries. More businesses are flocking to it for faster payments and transfers. As a result, if the lawsuit is successfully resolved, XRP could easily reach new highs. Are you an XRP and VS Tor? If you want to learn more about XRP, there are two more videos on the end screen that you can watch. Please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I'll see you in the next video. Please keep in mind that cryptocurrency prices fluctuate frequently. So by the time you watch this video, it may have changed to a completely different value. You should not treat any of the content in this video as investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other type of advice. The information in this video is provided solely for educational purposes and should not be construed as financial advice. Before making any investment decisions, do your own due diligence and consult with your financial advisor.